Hello there, people of the YouTube. It is your favorite Mexican dish burrito here. <laughs> and I'm bringing you guys some uh, home front gameplay. Um, this isn't your your f great flawless uh, gameplay or your ridiculously high kill death ratio game, but it's just something decent. And I wanted to bring you guys something decent to uh, share my first impression and uh, opinions of this game. And my first impressions of this game, what were they? Well, the graphics. Um, I didn't think they were too bad, uh, to be honest with you. I heard terrible reviews of the graphics, and first time I played this, I was like, I don't know, I don't know about these reviews. I mean, I, f I find the graphics pretty good, actually. But over time, my, uh, my opinion on these graphics changed. Um, I mean, they're not bad by by any means. I mean, I feel like they're they're really good, but um, I feel uh, these graphics begin to get a little monotonous. Um, all these rustic features um, in every single map, and all these boxes with a North Korean star on it, whatever. I don't even know. It's in every map, um, and all these broken down cars and kind of like. I don't know, suburban environments, urban environments, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I mean, they're not they're not all bad. They don't they don't take away from the gameplay at all because the gameplay itself that's a lot of fun. Um I I jumped right into this game and uh I found I found it to be very fun and that's kind of the good thing about casual shooters. Um I, I kind of consider this to be a casual shooter with uh, along with Call of Duty, and I mean that's not a bad thing. Um, I, w I mean to be honest with you, without casual shooters, um, I wouldn't be playing first persons uh, nowadays. Uh, that that's what kind of got me started uh, with first person shooters was like Halo and uh, Call of Duty. So without them, I wouldn't be playing video games. To be honest with you, <laughs> first person shooters are really the only types of games I play. Um, which kind of uh, kind of sucks because lately I've been getting so bored with Call of Duty and I really have nothing else to fall back on. Um, which isn't the case for one of our members, uh, Rossi369. Uh, he plays just a plethora of games. Um, you guys probably watched his Fear 2 campaign and I really wish I was like that where I could just fall back on different games, bring different variety into my gameplay, but I don't know. I guess in my mind, I, I feel like I must stick to first-person shooters. <laughs> That's just how I process things, but uh, hopefully that'll change. And <laughs> I I literally got so bored with Call of Duty that I, I went out, rented this. Um, I really haven't been playing it too often. I don't know why. I have a ball. I have a ball playing this. I love having a good time playing this. Um, but I went out, rented this, and uh, the next day... Um, I went out and bought Crisis 2, <laughs> and oh my God, Crisis! I love it. Uh, one of the one of the most asked questions that uh, I read and that I see is, uh, should I buy or what do you think about Crisis 2 and Homefront? Which one sh which one should I buy? Um, uh, to be honest with you, um, I'd have to say Crisis 2. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun once you start getting good at it. Um, the graphics, they're beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen such good graphics on a, on a game. And the depth in the game is ridiculous. But it's I consider that to be a hardcore game. Uh, it's going to take a lot of time to get good at. But it, it's, it's more rewarding once you start seeing positive results. Which I feel I can't, I can't wait till I start getting good at that game because... I've been playing it for, I don't know, kind of a, a large amount of time for the amount of, for the length that I've had it, but I still, I still suck at it. <laughs> it's very strategic in, in the way that you use your health, unlike this game, and I find the, uh, what am I doing right here? Playing a little ring around the rosy? <laughs> You guys are probably thinking, but Burrito, you're not supposed to run around the rocks like that. You're supposed to take positions. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's how people talk. But um, positions, that's thats a strategy that I've noticed in this game. If you can position you and your team up up on to a high level 
in, in each map, I think you guys will be set. I don't really show off that position positioning in this uh, video. I'm kind of just running around like a maniac and uh, trying to slay as best as I can. But um, that's all right because it kind of works. But at times I kind of take a high position and I I do as best as I can. Um, the campaign for this gameplay or for what? Yeah, the campaign for this gameplay, that's what you guys are watching right now. No. <laughs> the hell am I talking about? It's late, so forgive me of that. Uh, the campaign for this game, I'm not really interested in that. I've heard awful things about it, and I'm not too sure if I want to go out and spend my money on that. Because I think I'd be just, just playing the uh, multiplayer. But, I don't know guys. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if I should buy this game. Because I really do want to. I mean, I love the multiplayer. Um, it's so much fun. And it's really easy to hop into and to see positive results. And I think that's what makes it a lot of fun. It kind of resembles that of uh, Call of Duty. But, I mean, it has its differences, which is good. It kind of adds variety into my what I normally play. So I'm kind of glad of that. But aside from the fun, it kind of gets boring at times because as you see these maps are enormous and you kinda go through a little a little drought when you're playing and you might not see a person for five minutes I've had that happen to me on numerous occasions I'm just running around the map in circles and I hardly see anybody which kinda sucks but hey what can what are you gonna do um I guess I guess these large maps are time to kinda encourage sniping um, uh, I've been playing kind of maybe I think I've logged in about hardly any game time maybe two hours <laughs> and one thing I've noticed is that almost in every game there's there's people taking sniping locations and I find that really cool because it kind of brings a realistic edge to this game and I really enjoy that another thing I find cool is the uh, these bonus points that you get um, the bonus points, see right there, I get 130 bonus points. And in my bottom right hand corner, I have 3,370. It just went up to 3,500 bonus points. And when I die, I can select a vehicle like a, a, a Humvee, a tank, or a chopper gunner. Um, and I use my bonus points towards that, which I find that that's pretty cool. Um, no kill streaks or anything, so it's pretty neat. <laughs> you can tell it's an Aspen by the way it is. Wow. <laughs> but this game's kind of wrapping up. Uh, I slay that man right there. And if you guys want to see more Homefront videos, just leave a comment and let me know if I should buy it or not. I really want to. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this because I I love this game. So. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll try to keep posting. See ya.